What's good with y'all, Barons? On today's episode, we're going to hear from MCPS students about the recent tragic shooting in Atlanta. Find out how to audition for BCC TV and sing a song. I'm Nikolai. And I'm Booker. And, and you're, you're watching, watching BCC TV. Last week, eight people died in a mass shooting in Atlanta. Six of them were Asian women. While it is yet to be legally confirmed, many have alleged that this was a racially motivated hate crime. We decided to speak with members of our community who have been affected by this event. We want to start with a horrific shooting rampage in Georgia that has left eight people dead. When I first heard about the shooting in Atlanta, I was on Instagram, I was scrolling through the stories. With all the news that's happening, I kind of thought it would just be added onto the pile of things and it would ultimately be ignored because people have died and nothing's really happened. But the next day, um, it sat with me and I was feeling really weird. I was eventually able to identify that as like processing of the trauma and the grief that I was experiencing. Six of the eight dead are said to be Asian women, um, but investigators have not said whether or not the attacks are racially motivated. I got pretty angry just like thinking about how this sort of like fits into the timeline of like xenophobia in America and all of the Asian hate crimes that have, I guess, escalated to this moment. He does claim that it was not racially motivated. He apparently has an issue, uh, what he considers a, a, a sex fiction, and it's a temptation for him that he wanted to eliminate. It did take a toll on me mentally and physically. Um, it was hard for me to get up for class. You know, I kind of lost my appetite. I, I couldn't really come to terms with it. I didn't really feel like doing homework was really, uh, my priority. I go to the spa with my mom, who's Asian, and that could have just as easily been her. And he was pretty much fed up, and then kind of at the end of his rope, and, um, and yesterday was a really bad day for him, and this is what he did. It was disappointing to hear what the chief of police had to say, that um, the shooter was just having a bad day, and you know, that completely justified his behavior. He was driving from massage place to massage place. The fact that people aren't treating it as a hate crime in law enforcement is just ignorant in itself. It was just really like hard to read about and you know as more information kind of rolled out it became really hard for me to be on social media um, so I kind of took a break. I'm really appreciative of all the global support and the Instagram infographics and everything and people showing up right now but I have a hard time believing in the permanence of it. I'm afraid to see this just disappear again under the radar just because it was a trend. At BCC, the statistics show that less than 5% of the entire school is Asian, and it's never been higher than 5% in the past. It's really limiting and isolating. I would just like to see more people at ASU meetings now. It's really not just for Asian people, it's for allies. It's everyone's job to speak up and speak out about this, but especially those who hold the privilege and power um, to not ever have these experiences in their entire lifetime. Soon Chung Park, Hyun Jung Kim, Soon Cha Kim, Yong Ai Yue, Xiao Jie Tan, Dao Yao Feng, Delania Ashley Yan, and Paul Andre Michaels. Thank you all so much for sharing. For those who missed it, our Asian Student Union hosted a healing session last Friday. They also host regular meetings where they celebrate Asian cultures and host discussions about identity, history, current events, and representation. DM them at BCCASU or contact this email to get involved. Hey Nikolai, what do I do to join BCC TV? You're already on BCC TV. <laughs> How silly of me. Hi Joe, with Thanksgiving approaching, what are you thankful for? My favorite BCC TV segment, of course. What's your favorite segment on BCC TV? Abigail Hogwood's segment. Hi, Let's what are you doing? All the seniors are leaving, man. No, no JD declassified. No Liana throwing tissue boxes at Boston. No Boston editing segments. What are we gonna do? Kai, snap out of it. We're about to hold auditions. New cast members. New cast members? New anchors. New anchors? New editors. New editors. And all new people. 
That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> if you're interested in auditioning for BCC TV as an editor who knows how to use any of these programs, a writer, an on-screen personality, or a cinematographer, click the link in the description or look at Instagram for more information and be on the lookout for these dates. Back to you, Nikolai Kiata. I can't wait to see who we'll pass the torch to next year. If you have any interest in auditioning for the show, reach out to this email or shoot us a DM on Instagram or Twitter and stay updated by following us. Hi everyone, welcome to Baron Time. How are you guys? I'm here to support you all. It's so good to see all your faces. Well, oh, okay, okay. Baron time Closing all the doors You're probably clueless And your head's in the clouds Baron time Never wanna go You usually skip it When you are allowed Baron time One last call Get out the halls I wish I could just disappear Baron time For those who go it's 8 a.m. For the rest of the year I'm not doing my assignments here I'm not doing my assignments here I'm not doing my assignments here My assignments here Fair in time, every time it happens, I sit and wait for it to end. Well, that's all for this week, Barons. Check back after spring break for more news, updates, and humor. Keep those standards high and keep the spring break homework assignments low. I'm Nikolai. And I'm Booker. And we're signing off. I've heard that if you put googly eyes on your cameras, it's easier to talk to them. Yeah. <laughs>